what are the key features of the first half of the year? Well, the first half has been a very busy and active period for us. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, success operationally with some terrific uh, leasing results. We've reduced our costs. We've built some more momentum into the development programme. But also we've made some great strides strategically, selling a number of our non-core assets. Uh, and, of course, the creation of a joint venture with PSP Investments to build a leading European logistics platform was a very exciting development for us. So what's been driving the strong performance in leasing and the development pipeline? Well, we've had a 30% increase in our leasing activity in the first half of this year. And in fact, the second quarter was particularly strong. And it's the best quarter we've had since the beginning of 2010. And there are a number of factors behind that and indeed the progress we've made with our development pipeline. Uh, first of all, there's a shortage of available new space in just about all the markets we're, we're operating in because nobody's been building anything speculatively for the last few years. But also there's some very good structural drivers. The whole supply chain, particularly behind the retail industry, is going through a, a bit of evolution at the moment, particularly impacted by the effects of online retailing um, and, and urban distribution. And uh, that's creating a, a need for many retailers, manufacturers and distributors to rethink their whole supply chain. And that's causing quite a demand for new space, particularly in and around ma major capital cities and major conurbations, which we're particularly well placed to serve. How's the development pipeline progressing? Well, we're continuing to build momentum in the development programme uh, and achieve some very good returns on our capital. We've finished off eight projects in the current year. We've got another 14 projects that are underway. Uh, and there are another four projects that are at advanced stages of negotiation with customers currently. All told, that's going to contribute about £16 million of new income to the uh, P&L account when they're up and, um, up and let. Um, and uh, we've acquired three more pieces of land, uh, one in France, one in, just outside Paris, one in uh, Rugby in the Midlands of the UK and one in Warsaw which will provide us with further opportunities for development going forward. So the development pipeline is continuing to build and uh, enabling us to, to really take advantage of some of the structural demand drivers that are helping our industry. So a strong operational performance, but you've seen a fall in your EPRA profits. Why is that? Well, uh, we've been selling a lot of non-core assets over the last 18 months, and so we've lost the income from, from those non-core uh, properties uh, uh, during the first half this year and also we lost um, a, a sizable amount of income from uh, Neckermann which uh, was the business the mail order company in Germany that went went bust in the early part of 2012 so we've had no income from that site in the first half of 2013. In fact um, you know the combination of uh, Neckermann and the disposals has taken about 26 million pounds of rental income out of the, the income statement for the first half of 2013. The fact that our EPRA profits are only down £5.9 million shows the great progress we've made in offsetting those factors through development, through investment in, uh, in new acquisitions and through cost savings. With all the disposals you're making, is the dividend coming under pressure? Well, we expected earnings to be lower this year following all the disposals we've been making since we announced the strategic plan back in November 2011. Uh, but we still expect our dividend to be covered by EPRA earnings. And uh, we made a very clear statement back in 2011 about uh, our, our intention to maintain the dividend even if uh, it were uncovered by earnings. You've also seen a slight increase in valuation. So do you think the market's stabilised and we might see values continuing to accelerate? Yes, our completed property portfolio increased by 0.3% uh, in the first half of the year. Uh, there was quite a noticeable difference between the first quarter and the second quarter generally across the market. And it's definitely the case that investor interest, particularly in industrial assets, is starting to increase, and especially in logistics property. Uh, I, if that level of interest is, is sustained in the second half of the year, I think we could well see yields starting to tighten in the months ahead. Now, you've announced a joint venture with the Canadian pensions company PSP Investments. What are your plans there? Well, the joint venture with PSP Investments is, is a really key strategic step for us. It's something that we said back in November 2011, we wanted to use more third-party capital for, for this type of uh, area of our business. And uh, we're very excited about th this particular joint venture because 
the continental European logistics market is a very large market. It's very fragmented. We think there are some very attractive drivers of growth in the years ahead, but it needs scale. And in order to access scale, you, you need capital. So th this partnership is giving us a great, a great opportunity to grow a scale position, get a leading position in the continental European logistics market. And I think it will deliver very, very attractive risk-adjusted returns on our capital for our shareholders. You announced a strategic plan back in November 2011. Bring us up to speed on how you're progressing with that. We're making very good progress. We're ahead of plan in terms of the disposal of non-core assets. We've now sold over a billion pounds worth of property. There's still some to go, but we're making very good progress. Uh, secondly, we've been reinvesting very actively both in existing built assets and through the development program. Thirdly, we've been driving our operational performance and reducing our vacancy rate, which is improving the income profile of the business. And uh, fourthly, we're reducing our net, our net gearing. And uh, as part and parcel of that, we've also been introducing third-party capital through the creation of this, uh, this joint venture with PSP. So all told, we're, we're well ahead of where we thought we'd be, and we've made progress on uh, just about every front. So what are your plans going forward? Well, the second half of the year is going to be more of the same. We're continuing to focus on uh, op operational matters, so looking after our customers, sweating the assets, improving occupancy and income from the existing portfolio. We'll be continuing to put a focus on the development program. We'll be looking for more opportunities to uh, reinvest some of the disposal proceeds that we've uh, generated in the first half. And indeed, we'll be looking for opportunities to sell uh, other non-core assets. Meanwhile, we've got this exciting new joint venture that we've created with PSP Investments, and, and that'll be something we'll be looking to close out and indeed start uh, investing on behalf of the joint venture in the months ahead.